Welcome to Getting Started in Small Talk, a simple VisualWorks application. My name is Arden Thomas. I'm the Syncom Small Talk product manager. This screencast will basically demonstrate how to get started with VisualWorks. If you followed our last screencast, we showed you how to install and start VisualWorks, which is what we have right here. So let's get to work. Let's first load a parcel. UIP, you can type in, it'll match. I'm going to press enter. It's, it's now going to load the painter. Watch up here. It will change my launcher and add this icon right here, which we're going to click. So what this gives me is a canvas to draw on. I'm going to put two widgets from our palette right here. I'm going to click on action button and let's take an input field. So something very simple. Notice it says unlabeled canvas. Let's let's change that with nothing selected. Test app. Press apply. Now it says test app. So action, we're going to do something very simple. Let's say it's going to our button is going to say say hello. We'll make the button a little bit bigger. That looks about right. And our action. So this will be the small talk method that gets called when the button is pressed. Essentially the code that gets run. So I'm going to have that say the name of the method is going to be say hello also. And for good good habits, give it an ID. This allows us to programmatically find this and access and dynamically change our widgets by giving them an ID. So you want to do that as a good habit. Now let's go to our input field. Well, the input field is going to hold a message. I'm going to say hello and it's going to put a message here. So I'm going to call the aspect of this message holder. I'm going to make the, the ID of this the same, the same as the aspect. And the, again, this is so I could access it programmatically. It's going to hold a string and I can leave the, I can leave the default format. If I wanted a menu in it, I could provide it here and, and construct a menu. So that's what I've got so far. Now what? Okay. Let me resize this a little bit. I come up here and click on this right here. It says, okay, where am I going to install this? Well, let's cancel a second. Let's come right up here. This opens up what's called a browser. And in my browser, I have a number of packages here. And I want to create a new package. A new package. I'm going to call it test apps. Now I have a new package called test apps. Okay, let's go back here. Install this. Okay, we're going to install this on a class. Since it doesn't exist, I'm going to add it. So where am I going to put this? Well, I want to put it in what we just created, test apps. Click OK. You can leave the namespace as Smalltalk. If you use your own namespaces later, you can specify that here. So what's the name of the application? I'm going to call this test app one. And we can leave this right here. Application model is the, is the parent. I don't have to create any instance variables at this time. Say OK. The, it's going to put the specification for this interface in a method called window spec. And now if I look over here in test apps, it has test app one. And I can view that. It has no code presently. Nothing. But just a class definition. So now what? Well, if I come back here and click on the next button in line, it says define these models. And I'll leave that initialization on so you can see what it does. I'll say OK. Now if I come over to test app, I have an action that says say hello. And this is simply a stub. This is the method that's 
gets called when I press the Say Hello button. And an aspect, a message holder, that's a string new as value. As value makes it a something that's called, it's an object called a value holder. So let's see how this works. If I open this, I can press say hello, which does nothing right now. It just returns self. Nothing happens. So let's change that. I'm going to overwrite that, wipe that out. And when I say say hello, it's going to say self. Notice, notice it, it starts figuring out what I'm trying to what I'm trying to find. I want the message holder. So with this right here, I can simply tab and it takes that. Self message holder. And all I need to do is say value colon. I'll use the, the prototypical hello world. And what I do now is I hit Control S. Alternatively, I could do this right here. Notice it says Control S. I can right click and say Accept. That compiles this method and it's immediately available. I can actually go back to my running application with and without restarting it, click on Say Hello, and that's what it does. It puts Hello World right in here. So that's a very simple a very simple beginning small talk application. Uh, just a couple of other things. If I want to let me close this down, if I want to open up a workspace, I'm going to turn on an option style as small talk. This means the autocomplete will be on. So I'm going to say test app one, and I can say to that class now open. And if I, I can highlight this right click and say do it or I can I can highlight it or just have the cursor to the right and come up here to the do it and it starts my application say hello hello world so a couple of variants on how to start it I could also come back to my application here if I go to the class side where the the window specification is I can edit that to go back and make changes, but I'm going to close that. I can also open it from right here. So there we see uh, a few different ways to open up the application. The first way, again, was right here. I can open it from here. Close this. The second way, I can open a workspace, highlight it, and say do it. And third way was from right here. I can go back and edit my interface or open it from right here. And that is getting started with Smalltalk and a quick, simple application. If you have any questions, any suggestions, please send them to athomas at syncom.com. That's me, Arden Thomas. And I, I look forward to your input. And in the future, great luck with Smalltalk. Thank you.